poor air quality is a big reason why people fail to give birth or get pregnant. Now, as we understand, women are born with a fixed number of eggs. Men, on the other hand, keep making sperm till late in their lives. We assume that something like 400,000 or 4 lakh eggs are there present in the, both the ovaries at the time of puberty for most women. And then they use up 30 of these eggs on a daily basis. Once all of these eggs are exhausted, her menopause starts or she's finished her eggs and she has entered menopause and technically she cannot get pregnant ever again. So there is a fertility period for women, something that starts from the time of menarche, which is when her menses start, maybe around 12 or 13 years, until the time of menopause, which is something around 48, 49 years. So this is her fertile period where her eggs are there and those eggs are causing her to menstruate on a monthly basis. But again, during this fertile period, there are the first few years that is from menarche till the maybe age of 16, 17, and then towards the end of her, her menstrual life, that's maybe 42, 43 to 48 onwards, while she still may be menstruating, the eggs that she is using up to grow up every month, the quality is not so good. And therefore, these years also, her chances of pregnancy are lower. So there is this concept that eggs alone do not qualify you for a pregnancy. They have to be of good health. By good health, we mean it has to be genetically and functionally healthy. Not all eggs are genetically and functionally healthy. That's proved. We have done biopsies on these eggs and have found out so. Very few, in fact, of these eggs are genetically and functionally healthy. In some women, they have a higher proportion of healthy eggs and therefore they are more fertile. In other women, they have less proportion of healthy eggs and therefore they are not so fertile. This is one of the major reasons of fertility problem or not getting pregnant in today's scenario. Now quite obviously, as we understand that eggs decrease in number as the age increases, the quality of oocyte also has kind of a linear correlation with the age of the woman because it seems that the eggs that are used up in the initial part of her life are of better quality than the eggs that are used up in the later part of her life. So somebody who is in her late 30s or early 40s, and this is not a general statement, but mostly observed, have poorer quality oocytes than somebody who is in her early 20s or maybe mid 20s. So that's why we keep saying that age is of a big, big value or big concern for women to get pregnant because the oocyte quality is much better in younger women. That is not to say that no woman in the 40s or in late 30s can ever get pregnant. Some of these women have excellent eggs even in their mid 40s. But by and large, age is the single biggest criteria which affects egg quality and therefore younger you are, better is the chance of your eggs being of good quality.